welcome back on in to Fox 43 AM Live. I'm joined now by Mr. Rodney Harmon here with the For the Culture Kansas Fest. So, okay, I'm going to start. We have a whole lineup here on this sheet to go through. Yes, but first, I want to uh, start off with the gala that's happening, and that's the Black Tie Gala on Thursday. So do you mind kind of detailing what's going to start, you know, what's going to kick things off that night and uh, what you guys are doing? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Thursday night, we, we kick off the gala, mm -hmm. which is uh, starts from 5 to 11 at the Town Site Plaza uh, Ballroom. Uh, we will have a, a keynote speaker, Maggie Anderson, and she wrote a book. Let me use my cheat sheet. Perfectly Black, fine. There's a Black, lot of names on here. Yeah. <laughs> Our Black Year, A Family's Quest to Buy Black in America's Racially Divided Economy. So yeah. she would kick that off. We have a, um, another speaker. Eugene Williams, he's, uh, I believe, a six, possibly nine-time uh, Emmy Award winner. Wow, uh, that's impressive. So he's going to be speaking also. We have a uh, person that's going to be, his name is Justin Aarons. He's going to also be singing that night, and he's also going to be featured in our fest as a uh, headliner also. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so, you know, is anyone able to come out to the gala or is it, is it, is it you know, a closed event? How can people participate in that? Yes, anyone was able to come out to the gala. However, we sold out. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's so, so good sold, for you guys. We then, sold right? out the other day. Wonderful. Uh, but yes, it, it was, anybody could come to the gala. Uh, it was open to everybody. And the gala is really a feature to, sp to help uh, talk about and to celebrate all our sponsors that helped put this fest together. Yeah. So. And I mean, there's a whole bunch of other things, though, that people can participate in other than just that. I mean, I want to start off by asking about the yoga and fitness class, because that's immediately what perked my ears up. And that's on Saturday, too, right? Yes. So it's there's a whole bunch of different events that are going on. You guys have panels as well. Do you mind just speaking to the different types of ones that you have happening? Yes. Okay, uh, the stuff that you mentioned actually starts on Saturday, yeah. but it actually kicks off Friday night from okay, cool. 4 to 9 o'clock, where we'll be, you know, highlighting all our uh, sponsors again, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking about everything that's happening that, that weekend. So we start, we have a um, person that's singing Friday night, his name is Busy. Uh, he's out of Topeka. Name. Yeah, <laughs> he's out of Topeka. He's a yeah. local artist named Brandon Evans out of Topeka, so he will be a a highlighted, you know, yeah. uh, singer that night. Uh, Saturday morning, we kick off, like you said, with the yoga and fitness. Getting things early and yes. started, right? Yes, <laughs> starting at 9 o'clock. Right after that, we will have a health and wellness panel at mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. Following that, we will have a business panel at 11 o'clock. Then at 1 o'clock, it kicked off the festivities again where we have, you know, vendors, uh, merchants, we have food trucks, we have uh, another, you know, entertainment throughout yeah. the night. Our headliner for that night will be uh, Jershika Maples. She's, uh, let me, don't let me get this wrong. And these are all artists that are from the area, correct me if I'm wrong, at well, least from Kansas? Well, a lot of them are from Kansas, but mm -hmm. a lot of our headliners are actually from out of the state. Oh, wonderful. So, okay, yeah, so we're so bringing we, in people to Kansas yes. here. So we have approximately 30 to 35 different Whew. singers. You know, most of them are from the state. I would, yeah. I would say about 90% are from the state of Kansas. And some are, if they're not from the state of Kansas right now, they were born and raised here and then moved away. Okay, and I, so I'm, I, you know, I, I'm so sorry, I got a little excited there. So you have, of course, the business panel. We ended on that. And then I want you to tell me just a little bit about the art gallery, because this is from, you know, artists that are from across the state coming in to showcase their art. Yes. Do you mind telling me what's going to be kind of going on there and how people can participate? Yes, on, on that, uh, we have several different artists coming in, like you said, from yeah. a, around the state. And they're going to be showcasing their, their art. Uh, that's, you know, of course, the visual artists where they, it might be pottery, it might be paintings, it might be photography, but they're going to be showcasing that, and now all of that stuff is going to be on sale. Oh, wonderful! So you could you could purchase those art pieces. So that would be held at the Jayhawk Theater, you know. So we will hold that there. Uh, that is from Saturday, from I believe 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. So that will be going on at the same time as the festival. And I mean, just there's going to be performances on Friday, Saturday, Saturday and, and Sunday, Sunday all yes. throughout. And like you said, there's going to be, you know, food trucks, things like that there for people to also partake in, right? Yes. Throughout the weekend. Yes. 
And we also have a sold out bus tour. So a uh, historical African-American bus tour, which would happen yeah. on Saturday. And that's from 10 to 12 and another one from three to five. And both of those are already completely both sold out. Both of those out. are sold out, and sold out within three days. Wow, hey, congratulations. I mean, that really speaks to you guys yes. and what you're doing over there. I mean, is, so there's this, the bus tour taking people by historical places here in Topeka or? Yes. Okay, that, um, that are? 12, 12 different uh, sites that they would be taking them by. Oh, and great. when I say sold out, understand that everything in this festival is free. So we just had to make sure that we was able to keep count of the people that was on the bus. <laughs> yeah, so you want to accommodate yeah, for everyone, exactly. right? <laughs> so sold out meant that everything was still free. They just had to register. So, you know, just give me the details. If I'm so, if, if I really want to come out and participate, you know, I know some of these events are, are you know, are, are like the tour are kind of closed off right now because you guys have filled those spots up. Yes. But, you know, you're able to participate and go see the performances and to partake. Can you give us the details just one more time of when people should come out and, and uh, what time and, and where at they can, they can find you guys? Yes, we'll be, uh, this will be happening at Evergy Plaza, downtown Topeka. Uh, like I said, everything kicks off on Friday night for the festival. Mm -hmm. The gala, like I said, is, is sold out already. That's Thursday night, but Friday night it'll be from four to nine. Saturday will be from 9 to 9, and okay. Sunday it will be from 11 to 6. So this is an all-weekend, everyday all thing. All-weekend thing, and everything's <laughs> free, and everybody is welcome oh, to wonderful. come out, join in. Let's celebrate African-American culture, heritage, history. Yeah, well, hey, th and, and also, look at this awesome shirt that he has got on. Someone get, I mean, let's give it some love here. I'm loving, I love it so yes. much, guys. And this is, is this your second, third, fourth year this doing our, this? This is our First. First inaugural. year? First inaugural, yes. Then all the more reason for people to get out there and support you guys, right? Yes. All right, well, thank you so much, Rodney, for coming on. We appreciate you. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you have a great day. You too.